Hey, what's up everyone? Um, my name is Dylan. As some of you may know, I have a side hustle, uh, which is buying and selling old vintage stuff, records, pieces of furniture, posters, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, so I thought it might be kind of cool to make a video about some things I've acquired recently, some stuff that will be going to my personal collection, and some stuff that will be for sale soon. Uh, so I wanted to start with a couple records. I don't normally do this. I drove all the way to Long Beach, which is like 45 minutes, uh, for one record the other day. And, uh, you know, I think it was worth it. I've got 1963, I believe, pressing mono 2i Columbia of Robert Johnson, a compilation of some of his best hits. Um, you know, if you know the story of Robert Johnson, he's the Delta Blues guitar player that, you know, supposedly sold his soul to the devil. Um, his song Crossroads was popularized by Cream, uh, covered again by John Mayer, Down the Road. Uh, yeah, it's really, uh, to me, a very important song and a very important piece of music, just because it's sort of the, I think, the epitome of Delta Blues that inspired the British Invasion, which then became American rock and roll. You know, I think it's pretty amazing that music had to travel thousands of miles across the ocean uh, for us to appreciate it played by Brits. Uh, I think it's just kind of a pretty funny turn of events. So, big love for Robert Johnson. Um, there was even a movie made about the song Crossroads called Crossroads, and I actually... Uh, the director of that was Walter Hill, who also wrote and directed... Um, Alien. He was a regular at a bar that I used to work at, and uh, one day came in and signed a CD of spoken word poetry that he did. So I didn't get to tell him how important it was to me that he made a movie about Crossroads, uh, but I did get to get a cool autograph CD from him, and so it's just a nice little thing. Um, also, I'm from Dallas, and Robert Johnson was not born in Dallas, but he was stabbed and died in Dallas. Uh, I believe at 27, the original member of the 27 Club. Uh, so that is a recent record I got. I also have, um, I don't buy records from record stores very often anymore, but this was a deal I couldn't pass up. Um, I'm a big fan of the Laurel Canyon rock and roll sound and the history uh, in the 60s around that place when I first moved to LA. I lived in Laurel Canyon for about two years. I fell in love with it. Um, this... Is Friar Tuck in his psychedelic guitar by this guy named Mike Deasy. He is a member of what is called the Wrecking Crew, which were a group of the cream of the crop studio musicians in the 60s and 70s. Uh, this guy was your go-to guy for sitar psychedelic sounds. Uh, he played with everyone from uh, Dwayne Eddy early, early on, all the way to adding guitar licks to pet sounds by the Beach Boys. He's super important and ultimately unknown. I mean, you say Mike Deasy, the average person's not gonna know who the fuck you're talking about. He'll probably think Mike Deasy's like a mumble rapper or something like that. So yeah, Mike Deasy, Friar Tuck in a Psychedelic Guitar. This is a white label promo copy. Uh, there have, I think only, I think only one has ever sold on Discogs and it was sold for about 90 bucks. This was a decent copy. It looks like probably a cat or something got to it down here. Um, I scored this for 25 bucks. Uh, shouts to local record store, Permanent Records in LA. They are doing awesome online Instagram sales, and this was just too good to pass up. So the fact that they're able to keep things moving there and able to keep uh, transactions happening is awesome. So big shouts to that sort of record store. Uh, next thing I want to show you is a guitar strap, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> So here we've got, I picked up a 12 string the other day for next to nothing. Uh, it was a 60s Japanese made, decent shape 12 string Halifax. Uh, I paid $125 for it, came with its original case, but I was adamant that the guy include the strap and I told him I wasn't gonna drive all the way out unless the strap is included. He thought I was crazy, but he didn't know what he had. This is a Bobby Lee original hand woven, hand stitched, badass, leather strap. 
These were cream of the crop straps. These are what your rock stars had. Jimmy Page, uh, Jimi Hendrix all had custom made Bobby Lee straps. You can see the stitch, the uh, not the stitch, but the stamp on here, Bobby Lee. This is US patent made of US and foreign parts. See the back, we're losing some of the, uh, the applique stitching here, but I mean, my God, this thing is so cool. So cool. Um, it's for sale on Reverb right now. I have it up there with a uh, another guitar that I'm selling, an original K value leader with a single coil. Uh, not a single coil, a D-Armand, a really great pickup. Um, but I want to compare that strap to my personal collection strap right here. This is another early, early Bobby Lee strap. Very hard to find in this condition. Um, before I knew much about guitar straps, I just needed one for a gig one night. Went into a used music shop in Highland Park, Future Music, you guys probably know it, um, and told the guy, I'm like, hey, I need a strap real fast, and I only had probably 25 bucks on me. Uh, I'm like, do you have anything cheap? He goes, I actually don't have any cheap straps. So I go, oh, shit. I go, I looked in his case, and I saw this one sitting. I'm like, well, what's that? What's that worth? And he goes... Uh, that's a forty dollar strap, and I'm like forty bucks for a strap, man. Come on, I got a I got a gig tonight. I just need to hold the guitar up. He goes, a strap's worth every penny of forty dollars, and the way he looked at me made me feel like I was a fucking idiot, which it probably was. I did my research. This is the uh, nautical themed Bobby Lee strap. I've never seen another one like it. This is almost pink, like coral red thread against this awesome white navy blue sea pattern. You can see this is an anchor over a uh, ship, ship's wheel, I guess. And uh, I'm just absolutely in love with this thing. So this one I'm never selling. This guy, the Holy Grail, is up on reverb right now. Uh, $300 are best offers, so shoot me an offer. $300 is like the highest end of these things, so I'm flexible. Uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any more questions or want to see some other stuff. Um, find me. I'm on Instagram under Robert Dylan Bear, under New New Vintage LA, and uh, I put out music under Go Lightly. So take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.